G'day guys, I uh, just thought I'd let you know before we begin that I'll be drinking some tea throughout this video. Uh, don't mind me, don't let it distract you. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Alrighty, so a couple of months ago I created this little animation here and I did all the music for it. And a lot of you seem to enjoy it, so I consider this video the explainer slash tutorial video if you want to learn those songs yourself. Um, as you can tell from the title of this video, What If Bloodborne Was Jazz? This is pretty much taking all the songs from Bloodborne and turning them into a more jazzy version. Now before you shoot me in the face, I only covered the first couple of songs from the soundtrack. So yes, that means no Ludwig, no Maria, just for now though. Reason for this is I plan to do the entire soundtrack, so begin the fan favourites in the future. So watch this video to help support me, please and thank you. Also covering isn't exactly accurate, more rather I'm making songs that heavily reference the original OST, kinda taking motifs and turning them into Lego blocks that can be stacked on top of one another. It'll make more sense when you hear them. So let's start with The Night on Furls. This song doesn't actually play anywhere in actual gameplay, so I decided to make it the theme for Yusefka's clinic. Pretty f***ing boring, hey? Let's take that melody, shorten it, and chuck it in 6-8, because I want this one to be a bit of a jazz standard. And we need to squish all this up so we can fit a recognisable melody in a repeatable 8 bars. As I mentioned earlier, it won't be a full-on Insane in the Rain jazz cover, just gotta borrow some phrases to use. This ramp-like phrase is really nice, will definitely help shape out a unique melody. When listening to the original song, there's quite a bit of overlapping lines throughout the different strings as well as the vocals, so I opted to take the general theme of two steps up, one step down, which can be heard here. Alright, we've got a fairly cohesive melody, let's slap it together with a few notes here and there to fill it out and chuck some chords on it. These chords are a simple reharmonization, but the reason for those exact chords will become much more apparent when the other songs are being completed. Think of it as like the Cathedral Ward Amygdala of chord progressions. Or maybe the Amygdala of Undertale leitmotifs, I, I don't know. But anyway, here we are. If you'd like to listen to the full song and all the others, I'll link them below and hopefully in the top right if I figure out how to do that. They're on all streaming services and here on YouTube, so oh man, is the next song we'll look at. Probably one of the most instantly recognisable themes from the game, probably just under Cleric Beast. Like The Night Unfurls, this song also hasn't played all throughout the game, so this one was dedicated to being a theme for Yarnum. This was the first song I reharmonised after a year or two of not playing much music, so I was messing around a lot and doing some real dumb shit. I remember I tried to learn it by ear and was accidentally playing everything a fourth up, so instead of... I was playing. Not the worst thing in the world, actually works in my favour, considering all the other tracks are in C minor or the relative major E flat. So the first instinct was to major seventh, because jazz. Alrighty, this is actually post-editing Fernley coming in here. Um, I actually had a bit here about how I didn't like this, so I tried something new. But actually listening back on it, I do kind of like how this sounds. So I'll probably use it for a different song. But yeah, at the time of writing this, I, um, I didn't like how it sounded, so I opted for something different. But just know that I actually kind of dig it, so it'll probably be in a different, different song. But yeah, I'll just uh, cut this next bit out and move on. These chords weren't doing it for me, so I had to try something new. Because I had tunnel vision thinking the melody was the most recognisable part of the theme, I completely neglected the actual best part, these strings. Letting go of the melody idea and instead focusing on these strings really helped open up some creative pathways. I'm lucky for me the melody kind of worked over a descending bass line with that kind of rhythm in the bass. Um, so yeah, this is what you're hearing now. I didn't realise at the time of writing, but this really helped open up a creative motif of chromatic dissension equals Slay them all. Whereas chromatic ascension leads to Slay. Even better, when the progression reaches A flat here, the melody no longer works starting up on C, so I had to move it down to the G, where it originally should have been. Quick 
quick turnaround and I could even get rid of the melody and it still sounded good. Hopefully this is a good demonstration of what I mean by not exactly covers. Remember when I said chromatic ascension was a... Well the B section is using that idea. Whereas the start of the theme was the theme for Yarnum, the city, the B section was more so for the hunter starting out. So we start ascending, damn I'm feeling good. Oh, there's a lot of enemies but I can do it. Then as any Souls player can admit on a blind playthrough, they got steamrolled at the big bonfire, going back into the descending baseline. When doing the exact same descending chords just a fourth up, so starting on F minor rather than C, it ends up on a D flat major 7th to a C major. The original chords are scrapped. F***ing serendipity mate. Onto the bridge now. Similar upward movement as before, but with a slight twist when coming back down. Once again, I'm not telling you the reason for these chords, they're a surprise tool that'll help us later. For a hint, either watch when this plays during the animation, or think about the part about this being on the bridge. But let's steer away from these dark and dreary songs for a moment. Let's go to the Hunter's Dream and take a load off. And this time, the theme actually plays in game when you're in the Hunter's Dream. I'd like to imagine Gurman has a jukebox with music discs that he swaps out, which is why the song changes when you reveal the Blood Moon. Let's stick with this music disc theme and create a nice Motown tune to mow down the town of Yarnum down to. That would sound as if it was in one of your grandpa's vinyls or something. I swear it gets more interesting. Let's take the melody again. I know I'm being a dead horse. Thankfully, this melody actually slaps and it can be used in so many different ways. Instead of C minor, we'll focus on making this one in E flat major. I can already smell the comments saying that they're the same key, but shut up. Just different tonic chords, different home bases. I would be here for hours if I was to explain why I chose the chords and how they related to the notes, but just know that each of these notes fits into the following chords. Whether it's the root note, third, fifth, seventh, they're all part of the chords, and know that the chords were chosen to make it sound like a Motown tune to Motown the town of Yarnum down to from a sound you found in your pa's lounge room. Now that was meant to be the verse, but it sounds much more like a chorus to me. So I had to make a new verse so I could make a good old fashioned verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, Motown tune to Quick tip for composers. These are just random bullshit points, by the way. Literally just made them up. Uh, but if you're struggling to make a chorus for a song that you've written a verse for or vice versa, no. If you're struggling through, just rearrange the chords. Go by trial and error if you need, but I'd recommend starting from the end. Try to find that cadence that brings it back home and find out how to get there. Now this is what I've done. Still got the A flat, G minor, C minor, F minor. Got the A7 flat five for the spice. Chuck it on some groovy bass and here we are. Sadly, there's no bridge in the Hunter's Dream so I had to build one myself. I'm trying to bring out some more of that, hmm, I don't know man vibe that the Hunter's Dream gives off. So we do a little shenanigans here to get it to G minor, so we can use that to go to. Rising back up as if waking from a horrible dream. Bang, Dunsky. You know, I was wrong earlier. Omen has nothing on this one. Not even gonna re-harm for the intro, just gonna straight up steal it.
Got that fifth of Beethoven energy. Time to fill it out. Seriously, not much to say here. Just kept it in key and made the notes into chords. All the disco classics we use for inspiration. Just made it groovy. Alright, there is a secret source I've been hiding away from you. The connective tissue that holds it all together. The insight. This chord progression right here. You're probably familiar with it. Silk Sonic, Barry White, Isaac Hayes, Earth, Wind, Fire. But here's the crazy part. Check this out. Kind of taking motifs and turning them into Lego blocks that can be stacked on top of one another. It'll make more sense when you hear them. 